I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it. Hey everybody, it's Pastor Lillian. I hope that you are doing well. As you can see, if you read the description, you know that these are Black-owned makeup brands. Not only today have I used Black-owned makeup brands, but also I even have Black-owned hair, honey. I mean, from the rooter to the tootie, I've got Black-owned going on right now, even my shirt. So, if you're interested to see what I'm using in this video, please stick around. The only thing that I do not have that is black owned is primer. So I don't have any black owned primer, uh, black owned brand uh, primer, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna use something that I've used before. Um, and then from then on, um, I'm gonna do my best to to uh, use everything from, from uh, maybe maybe a black owned brand that that many of you are very familiar with all the way to a black owned brand that you may not have heard of at all yet all right so what i'm going to do the first thing that i want to do is i've been having a little bit of trouble excuse me i've been having a little bit of trouble with my um skin lately it's been kind of it, it hasn't been dry but i've started drinking like almost a gallon of water a day and so i'm at the point now where when you drink that much water a day um what happens is your skin will start breaking out um because all of the toxins and all of that stuff is coming out so that's what is going on with my skin right now so i know maybe in about a week or so hopefully uh shark week is next week but um hopefully in about a week or so I should start seeing my smooth my skin kind of smooth out and things like that so if we're not really seeing that yet um just kind of bear with me so what I'm going to use this is by Too Faced as you can see it is well loved this is their primed poreless I don't know if you guys are familiar with that but prime poreless um really really does well especially if you're trying to if you have some some areas that you need to uh smooth out and so that's what I'm going to use today um um, this is Too Faced Prime Poreless. And so I'm just going to use a little bit. Just going to use a little bit, especially in these areas where I can see I have quite a, a bit of definition. And I like this because it really does do what it says. It does kind of close those pores a little bit or it does put a nice... Uh, film over them. Um, as you can see, there seems to be a little bit of color. Can you see that? It looks like it's a little bit of color. So for me, I would not use this primer like by itself or anything like that because it does give you a, a little bit of a cast. Okay, so just to, just to even it out under my foundation. When I was looking, trying to figure out what foundation to use and things like that, I got kind of excited because I have several foundations that are um, that are that are designed by African American women. So I am going to continue to to use them in the next few videos, um, and hopefully we should have we can have some fun with that. I don't know. I feel like I'm a little bit far from you guys, so I'm gonna zoom in. I don't mind you seeing all of my imperfections, so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in, and then uh, we're gonna we're gonna get it going here. All right, here we go. All right, um, you know I like to do eyebrows first, so what I'm going to do is I am actually going to use this is a drugstore brand. I got this from the drugstore, Walmart to be exact. And these are not necessarily like brand new products, okay? So I like to use some things to see how it's going to work for the most part. Um, and if I could find it, oh, here it is. I like to use products um, to see if they work out pretty well. And I wanted to try this out on my face first. Um, so I've had it for um, a few weeks and I really like what it's doing. This is actually the Black Opal. This is by Black Opal. You're gonna see a lot of them today. I am really, really proud of the work that they're doing. This is the Brow Shader Kit, the Brow Shader Kit. So I'm just going to um, use this this is the dark one this is the darkest one or the darkest shade that I saw 
um, to pick up. And so it does have what it has on it first of all. Of course, it does have that kind of, you know how the 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 brow, uh, the brow is kind of like this this. Let me see. Okay, what it is is it is you have this powder shade here, and then you have this stuff that's kind of. It kind of has like a film to it like it's it's kind of emollient just a little bit kind of has an emollient feel um to it but what i like to do is i like to put that on first and that kind of controls the brow and then i add that um that shade here the darker shade that's really powdery i use that one next okay so what i'm going to do it comes like with this little this little brush it comes with a little brush that's in it okay um, which is really really cute that I have I have plenty of brushes um, that that have the spoolie on the end and all of that so I'm probably gonna spend more time using um, my brush my brush that has the spoolie and all of that on it okay so it really doesn't matter what company um, you use as far as that stuff but as far as your uh, tools. So I'm just going to kind of, as you can see, I have quite a bit of hair here. So I like to just, I like to, uh, my brow, I like for my brow to look really, really natural since I was finally able to uh, grow them out. So I like to put that emollient type stuff on first. Now, what did make me nervous when I saw that and I saw how greasy it looked, um, I was thinking, oh boy, my skin is very, very um, combination, almost all oily. So when I was trying to go in to use it, I was saying, uh, I don't want to look like a, I don't want greasy brows. wanted to use another black owned product and this time I'm actually going to use a foundation. This is the Julius Place um, stick foundation, foundation, excuse me, it's in the color Madagascar. And so Madagascar is a few shades lighter than my skin tone and so I'm just going to go in with my brush. I have a slanted, this is a slanted uh, brush with a spoolie on the back and this is by Morphe, it's the E29 brush. But I like to just have it really, really nice and sharp. And see, because that, um, that foundation is so pigmented I don't have to do much it's, I mean it does it so quickly and so that's what I like about it I don't like having discolored um, discolored blenders or beauty sponges so I found some brown ones on um, on Amazon I was on Amazon and I found some brown ones so I'm just going to kind of blend it just tap it in just a little bit just tap it in just to blend all right i 
have that primer on and so I'm going to go in to this is the black opal black opal soft velvet finishing powder it's just a loose powder I like it this is in the shade dark it has a number it's a number 600 it's in the shade dark and so I'm just going to take a beauty blender and I'm just going to kind of help set some of that primer just a little bit I really want to stick with um, you've seen me use Juvia's Place in the past. So what I want to use um, now, I want to try the Black Opal True Color Pore Perfecting Liquid Foundation. And it says here that it is a light to medium coverage. So because it is a light to medium coverage, what I want to do is I want to go in with something up underneath just a little bit in those dark areas. So I'm going to use, I'm going to stick with those uh, sticks that I have. I have one more. Ah, Zambia. Zambia is kind of close to my skin complexion. And so I'm just going to put it um, in some areas that need to be color corrected. My chin right around my mouth um, I may put a little bit here you know just in some dark spaces dark places so right around my mouth okay. chin area here. Okay. and that's about all I need right now and so I'm gonna go in and blend that out somewhat pressing it into the skin. stand out too much wow I thought that it would be uh, it's, it's really really pigmented it's really there uh, so I'm just gonna put this is number 11 11 is a little bit darker I guess than 12 okay so this one is 12 this one is 11 So I think I did that backwards, but it's okay. It's okay. Oh yeah, that's fine. All right. Number two by Julius Place, and I also have Kitsina. So I think I want to use Kitsina. I'm gonna stay with the uh, with this consistency here. So I'm just going to, oh yeah, Katsina is not um, really, uh, it's very pigmented, but it's not so, so dark. The number two, I think, is a little too dark for me. So I'm going to stick with this one. I'm just going to come around, just going to come around a little, little bit. Juvia's Place kit. This one is a little light. This is the uh, Kalahari. Kalahari. So I'm going to go in with just a little bit of Kalahari.
necessarily baking because I'm gonna come right back to it. So um, now I'm going to go in with the um, with that same dark shade that was the black opal. And so, but hopefully I won't lose. See, because it is such a pigmented color, it's really doing a lot for underneath my eye. And I can tell that it's gonna set it well. It's gonna set it just fine. I think it's a good time to use some blush. So we're going to use Juvia's Place. This is the Saharan uh, Blush Palette Volume 2. And I'm going to go in with, um, I, I want to go in with a little bit of Yara, Yara, and uh, Yara and Lena. So that's, I'm, I'm crossing over here. One, two, just a little bit. Okay. Some Yara. Lip Bar has eye products as well. They've got products for your face. So I wanted to try this liquid eyeshadow and I've never used their liquid eyeshadow, but I wanna do something kind of simple um, and really allow for this color to pop. Out of all the colors that I saw, I really wanted to use this gold shade. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put a little bit of product around it to kind of make that gold really make sense, I guess. So I'm going to use the Juvia Place. This is the Nubian uh, palette by Juvia's Place and I'm going to go in with, excuse this, as you can see it's very well loved, um, but I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This, um, this palette doesn't have any other color names or anything like that, which is totally fine. That doesn't bother me not one bit. So I'm just going to go in with a fluffy brush and use that brown shade that is very, very close to my skin tone, as you can see. And you don't need much, just enough to kind of come up here. Just enough. I'm gonna use another shader brush um, that is just that is fluffy as well. Um, so that, but it's a little bit smaller, um, but I want it to be fluffy so that when I go in with that shade, it's not so potent or so, uh, harsh. So I'm just going in and as you can see, it doesn't look like there's a lot of product on that brush, but look like that really gave me quite a bit of color. So whenever you're using Juvia's Place, you don't have to worry about, Ooh, is it going to, you know, show up for on me or whatever. I mean... I know I've had this this uh, palette forever because for that very reason because you don't need a lot you a little product goes a long way and I know you've probably heard that before but yeah so I'm excited about it I'm excited about it let's see what it does okay this is called the girl next door or girl next door oh it's got a clear this part of the applicator is clear, that's cute. And then it has a regular doe foot um, applicator, looks just like lip, a lip gloss or something. Um, so here we go, let's see uh, what this does. Okay, so um, it's very pigmented. Ooh, okay. Ooh. what I'm gonna do is just sweep it it doesn't feel it doesn't really feel wet um, you can tell that there's something there but it doesn't feel I don't have a wet feeling you know 
product doesn't feel like it's runny or anything. Okay. I'm gonna get a dense shader brush. This is Morphe A17. And I'm going to bring it up. See if that'll do it. Blend it out a little. Oh, that's pretty. It is very nice. Girl, these are nice. I bought them from Target. Um, I'm kind of surprised like it's blending out well it's not but it's not moving it's moving but it's not moving like nothing is going where I don't want it to go I'm gonna go back in with that brown shade that was um, up at the top from that Juvia's Place palette Now I'll go in with that dark shade, the darker shade. Put that on the back, back end of the uh, of the eye. There. That chocolate, dark chocolate shade. Okay. I'm gonna go in now with a black liquid eyeliner this one that i have is actually by sarcastic cosmetics if you've never heard of sarcastic cosmetics it is a great brand um, a few videos ago i did um a review on a lot of her products um so go ahead and check that out but this is sarcastic Cos cosmetics and what it is is it has a felt felt and felt tip there see that um, and so you just kind of draw on like that. So I like to shake it up and then just begin to draw. I am going to line my bottom line with just a black, um, with just a regular black um, eyeliner. I do not, right now, I do not have a black owned brand uh, pencil liner. So I'm just going to use this Urban Depict uh, Urban Decay Glide On 24 7. This is it. This color is perversion. I'm paying more attention to the outer part of my eye than I am um, the inner. Now I am going to actually try a brand new brand. Uh, this is actually by a college student. So I was really, really excited um, to support her brand. It is called Lavish Lash. Um, and I thought these came really, really cute. This is called Lavish Lash. And this is the, this is the Style Angel. Um, these are mink lashes and they are long. I told her to just send me, you know, send me what she has. Um, I'll put her information down in the description box as well. But I thought these were gorgeous. I I don't know. I've never, I don't really walk around with lashes this long. But I said, I'm going to try them today because they are black, by a black-owned brand. So we're going to see how they look. This is called Angel by Lavish another one of my favorites this is lip bar again this is their lip liner in straight talk I'm gonna come in a little bit. I'm gonna go in with um, 
this is Sarcastic Cosmetics. I'm going to go in with It Ain't Mine. This is Sarcastic Cosmetics, but this is uh, by Mrs. L Miss Leonard, um, which is Tasha Cobbs Leonard, um, in her dream collection, A Color. All right, I don't know about you. This is the finished look, but I feel like I feel like I do, like I could use a gloss. So um, even though this is not a uh, drugstore, this is not a drugstore brand. It is still a black. Uh, it is still a black owned brand. This is the Fenty Gloss in Pretty Please. So I'm just gonna put just a little bit. I don't know, but sometimes the um, liquid lipsticks can be so drying so I like to just put a little something over them they still stay but I like to have just a little bit of help um, help there yeah I like it a little bit better with that gloss so you guys tell me what you think um, so this is the finished look um, I hope that you all enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up not a thumbs down give it a thumbs up um if you would please like subscribe uh, make sure you hit that little bell notification so you can be notified every time i upload and then also please leave me a comment of some um, other brands that you know of some other black owned brands that you know of that i should be using or some things for me to check out and i will uh i will definitely look into those please make sure that every brand uh, that i talked about or every product that i talk about that you go ahead and check it out see if you like it see if it works for you. Um, so thank you so much for liking and commenting and subscribing and sharing and all of that good stuff. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. But for the meantime, why don't you go ahead and check one out right now? I think that that's, what, that's a good idea. That's what you should do right now. Go ahead and do it. Have a good day. See you guys later. Bye.